Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to the final video of today of Triple Gris. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Gris and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And in this topic we will talk about the spirit of Elijah coming out of Babylon. Come out of her, my people. Holiness, the key to your inheritance. What is your inheritance? Eternal life, brothers and sisters eternal life and how can you obtain eternal life through faith by grace yes of course but that is not the whole way that is just the beginning of the path we need to come out of the world babylon and the churches out of traditions out of thinking too small we are the true sons and daughters of the kingdom of heaven. Something so huge that you could not imagine. So imagine the unimaginable. Imagine the power and the glory of the Father as you have done when you were a child and said that your father, your worldly father, is the greatest in this world. He is the king over the whole world. You believed that with your childlike face. Now you have to project this childlike face toward the Father and see that the Father is sending us the spirit of Elijah to have our Mount Carmel moment where we need to decide either to stand with Ahab and Jezebel, the world and Babylon, or to dedicate ourselves 100% with the kingdom of heaven. And when we do stand with the kingdom of heaven, then holiness is the key to your inheritance. Therefore, we have established the 88 group of holiness for the people who are ready to walk through that open door, to go onto the green pasture that the Lord has for them, to establish the holy places in their neighborhoods, to receive the covering of the Lord at the hedge of protection from the Father, so that the enemy cannot reach you, but that you can fulfill your destiny and purpose here on earth to bring in the harvest of the ages. This is not about a rupture, this is not about an escape, this is not about running away from your duty, this is to stand in the front battle lines against the darkness. This is to be a powerful warrior in the army of the Lord. This is to take on your responsibility as a son and daughter of the kingdom of heaven and to become an ambassador of heaven to introduce the kingdom of heaven and paradise to a fallen world and to go out into your neighborhood every day to walk as Jesus walked in true sonship. Then you will receive the blessing from the Father. Then you will receive everything what you need to continue your path and you will finish it. You will finish your ministry as the Lord has finished his ministry because God was always with him and the Father will also be with you. But you need to trust him and you need to put forth childlike face and say, my God in heaven is the greatest in this universe. He is the creator, creator of everything else. And I trust him. And I believe that he can bring everything forth, no matter how dark it's looking now, how dire the situation might be. But he will prepare a table in the midst of my enemies and he will give me all the goodness. As long as I walk on this earth, he will provide me with everything I need and I will be able to have access to my holy place and I will connect even closer to him and walk as an end-time apostle for him in the image of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And the spirit of Elijah will convict us and will take us out of Babylon. They say we have nothing to do with this worldly things anymore. We have nothing to do with this spirit of darkness, with the demonic forces, with Satan's side. Nothing. We reject it and say, Satan, go behind us. Satan, go behind us. And again, Satan, go behind us. We are looking forward to that open door towards the kingdom of heaven, towards Mount Zion towards that holy mountain where the Lord is calling us to right now, through the spirit of Moses. But now for the spirit of Moses to work, we also have to 
received the spirit of Elijah so that we can come out of spiritual darkness, out of all doctrines, out of completely misunderstanding, out of misinterpreting Bible verses, out of starting to fight over Bible verses with one another, and so on, and so on, and so on. These are all the spirits, religious spirits of Babylon, and we have to reject them. Holiness is the key to our inheritance, yes, but it's not means that we have to be perfect and holier than the holiest. No, we have to focus on the kingdom of heaven. That makes us holy because we accept and understand the holy. And to establish a holy place and walking on holy ground, that makes us holy. And going into the neighborhoods to lift up the needy, nameless and faces and the suffering, that makes us holy. And bringing in the harvest for the Lord, that makes us holy. And to look for the lost sheep and bring them back into the fold, that makes us holy. Come out of her, my people. Come out of Babylon in the spirit of Elijah. Holiness is the key to your inheritance. Get an understanding that you are called forth for such a time as this. To be an end time apostle, an ambassador of heaven in your neighborhood. Establish a holy place in your era so, area, so that the people can then find you, can connect with you, can ask you about the kingdom of heaven, can get an introduction, can join you, can be trained and taught as new disciples and as new royal priests in the line of David so that they can also go out into the, their neighborhoods and can bring in the harvest. The harvest is huge, but the workers are few. You need to step through that open door that is placed in front of you. Let us walk together. I'm ready to take you by the hand if you're willing to walk with me. I'm not important. I just usually only show you that door. But some of you need more assistance and more help, and I'm there for you to walk with you. Until Jesus will take over, until the Father will take over, and then you will be guided by them alone. Do not be afraid to step through that open door. If you seek any help, any information, just contact me at triplegrace55 at gmail.com. I will be there for you always and many other Members of Triple Grace can, can uh, confirm this, that I'm always there for you. And I can even take your issue to the court of heaven. We need to come together, support one another, to have all in common and everything in one accord, to share our resources. Yes, and unfortunately, that also includes our financial resources. A ministry like Triple Grace cannot be built without the help and support of people like you who open their, their kind heart and send me a heartfelt donation so that the ministry can grow, that we can bring forth the first holy place in a perfect manner for other people to copy. Because many people need a copy. Many people ask, how will it look like? We have no idea. Therefore, we have brought forth the 88 group of holiness so that the support will come forth, that we can bring it forth, that we can establish it in a perfect manner for the Father, not for us, not in our name, but in the name of the Father and for the kingdom of heaven. In the spirit of Elijah, I'm calling you out of Babylon, calling you out of the demonic forces area, out of your wrong thinking, out of the churches, and in the spirit of Moses, I'm calling you out of the out of the world. Leave Ahab, leave the, the new uh, Pharaoh, the Antichrist behind, and walk that path towards the holy mountain, towards Mount Zion. Holiness is the key to your inheritance. Be part of Triple Grace, of the 88 Group of Holiness, the Royal Priesthood Academy. Just join. Get an understanding and walk with us together in love, unity, and support. Be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ come right now for 40 days for a physical manifestation. And may he knock at all of our doors that we can embrace him. In his holy name I pray. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.